What's up everybody, it's Boy Meme here. I've got my mulch right here. Uh, it's not really mulch, it's just oatmeal. Uh, a little snack I like to have when I'm not, when food isn't offered to me, is I like to get um, a couple packs of oatmeal, uh, and then I put it in a bowl, and then I put some, some raw honey in it. And, you know, I really like honey. Well, I don't really like honey, but I think um, it's definitely better than just adding sugar, you know, because it has some health benefits, I believe. Um, so, you know, I'm having some oatmeal with honey. And, you know, I'm a little happy about that, I suppose. Uh, I'm still sick. I just got out of bed and it's 6 p.m. Uh, I was thinking, you know, I, I woke up at around 10 and my parents wanted me to clean the sink, so I did that. I was done at around 11. It doesn't take an hour to clean the sink. I just, I happened to be done by 11. Um, and, you know, then I just got back into bed and I decided, hey, I'm going to wait until six until six and then six is when I'll get on my computer um, because I actually got my new hard drive for my NAS server um, a couple days ago I'm sorry I keep scratching my forehead that's why I have this this horrible horrible scab on my forehead because um, it's it's gotten itchy up there I don't know why um, sorry yeah so I got my um the hard the new hard drive for my NAS server because my old one broke uh but it's just kind of been sitting there because I've been sick um either it's been like a school day and I don't want to spend my whole day on at home on it or you know I've been sick and so I have been able to add the hard drive into the computer and I'm planning to do it tomorrow because it's a Sunday uh and my theory is that today will be the ultimate restful day um so then I maximize how not sick I am tomorrow, uh, because I'll probably still be a little sick tomorrow when putting my hard drive into my NAS server, but um, I'll be as less sick as possible. Um, and yesterday I was on my computer for quite a bit. Yesterday I woke up at like 5, uh, you know, but I went on my computer at like, at like 11, you know, and I was just doing stuff for the whole day, right? And that's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to, trying to maximize my relaxation, eating my my food. Um, I might play some CSGO later. Maybe I'll try and increase my CS2 um, invitation chances, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Check out the pit. Check it out. I got the I got the Olu I got the Olu Kai's on. I got the Olu Kai slippers. I got the gold toes. I got the Cole Bucks in International Shorts dog. These are the best shorts in the world, actually. If you want the best shorts in the world, get Cole Bucks in International Shorts. I got the Filson shirt. I got the Yeezy Gap hoodie on, dog. I shouldn't be standing up and pointing at things and moving around all sporadically when I'm sick. But something I'm happy about is that these are all clothes that I have had part in buying. Um, I bought this Filson shirt because it was the. Uh, we are at the Filson store, and you know I wanted to get something that was like um, way more uh, um, vital to the outfit. Um, then this belt, I had gotten this Filson belt, and you can actually see my, my, um, Brave Star denim has actually made the belt a little bit blue. You can see across the entire interior of the, of the belt, it's, it's got some blue dye on it, which is kind of crazy, I kind of like it. Um, so, I got this Filson shirt, which is the only shirt that I had wanted, um, uh, from the Filson store, because I wanted, like, sort of a, 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 a like, a piece to remember my time there. Uh, and then I have this hoodie, which is my most recent garment that I've gotten. Um, it's the Easy Gap hoodie, and I got it after doing... Oh no! I have a little white dot right there. Um, and I got it after actually genuinely doing lots and lots of research on hoodies, and finding out that this is literally, literally the best hoodie that I could buy. Um, I was looking around and there are a lot of loop wheel hoodies made on loop wheel looms, but those are upwards of like $300. And, uh, you know, this is the highest quality hoodie you can get um, that is not made on a loop wheel loom. So, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, and these Cole Bucks in International Shorts, last summer, when I had first gotten my job, I um, got these shorts because I did lots of short research and these are the best shorts. Everything, all of these is 100% cotton, by the way. These are the best shorts that you can get. They're just the best ones, for real, like actually. Um, and these these Olukai slippers, these are actually, these are particularly nice because they're, um, uh, the outer is actually made with, with real leather. And the inner here is is made with wool, like cashmere. 
and that's crazy. I actually got these for Christmas. I asked for these in particular for Christmas, um, and it was like the only thing I got. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, so I'm just surrounded by things that make me very, very, very happy uh, because, you know, it, uh, I, I have this weird aversion toward um, um, polyester in clothing and, and acrylic and spandex. There's some spandex in my underwear and in my socks, but you know, I feel like that's kind of unavoidable. Um, and you know, the problem I have with it is that, you know, you're experience when you're outside, of course I'm not outside right now, but I'm experiencing the natural world when you're outside. And to me, it feels a little dishonest to experience the natural world in non-natural uh, attire, you know? Um, because from your, let's say you're wearing some, some nylon pants or something, from your legs perspective, all it sees is nylon. It doesn't experience the beauty of the natural world. Um, and, you know, there are some artificial materials that are really cool, like Gore-Tex. Uh, you know, let's say it's a rainy day. You throw on a Gore-Tex jacket, some Arc'teryx or something, you're fine, right? That's cool. I don't mind that. Um, and I kind of agree with the metaphor there. Um, but with with something just like going out and about, you're wearing like an 80-20 cotton poly blend on your t-shirt. Like, that's crazy. I feel like that's, that's mean. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the vibe. I'm just hanging out. After talking this much, I'm a little sweaty in this hoodie. Uh, so I'm probably gonna take it off and just wear my Filson shirt. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my food now that has just been sitting here. But now, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of mixed in with the water and it's kind of thick now, so I don't mind. Um, yeah, alright, see ya, dude.